sort that out and Prof of Dr. Kikano will come back as the next um, presenter. So moving on, I want to call upon Yvonne Kombrink and she will present uh, preserving nurses' professional dignity and necessity in demanding healthcare environments. Thank you for the opportunity to present our research titled Preserving Nurses' Professional Dignity, a Necessity in Demanding Healthcare. I would like to acknowledge the study supervisors, Professor Nauki van Wijk and Professor Shirley Moore for their contribution towards the study. And I just want to say in the absence I am because of them. I want us to be conscious of the following opening statement. All nurses, like everyone else, are worthy of dignity and respect. Patients and nurses enter healthcare facilities with, the, with an intrinsic sense of dignity and worthiness because of their human nature. Respect for dignity is an expectation of both the patients and the nurses. Patients and nurses also enter healthcare facilities with their own accorded sense of dignity, unique to their socially inclined roles as patients and nurses, constituting the concepts of dignity in care and professional dignity as a self and other regarding nursing professional value. Nurses' professional dignity is a value-laden concept and refers to the dignity nurses experience in their professional roles. It comprehends nurses' perceptions of themselves as professional human beings and others' views and regards for nurses' knowledge, skills, and autonomy. It also includes those workplace elements impacting on nurses' professional dignity. Research is scarce regarding the dignity of nurses. This study contributes to a better understanding of the phenomenon in private healthcare in South Africa. The study aimed to explore and describe nurses' professional dignity experiences for developing strategies to preserve their professional dignity. A two-phase study design was followed. During phase one, 11 individual phenomenological interviews were conducted with professional nurses in two private hospitals in two private hospitals in South Africa to answer the question, how do you experience factors that impact on your professional dignity? The findings that was, were thematically analyzed of phase one of the study, together with contextualized literature and the expert input of 20 healthcare professionals <coughs> during two focus group discussions formed the basis for developing and refining strategies for preserving nurses' professional dignity. The participants were conscious of their professional standing due to their own and other recipients. With patient well-being at the center of their care, they desired closeness with their patients. 
providing care to precision above and beyond expectation, instilled a sense of dignity, pride and self-worth. When the participants were unable to fulfill their calling towards their patients and their profession, their professional standing in percipients of themselves and others was compromised. Such experiences violated their professional dignity. Although the participants were unfamiliar with the concept of professional dignity, they were able to speak about their dignity freely. They perceived their dignity in view of themselves and others and in them being knowledgeable and skilled nursing professionals. They believed that dignity started with themselves in portraying the attributes of being a good nurse. They regarded the human dignity as closely related to their professional dignity. Respect for self and others and respect from others were important values in perceiving their dignity. If somebody treats you with respect, you feel dignified. You feel like a human being and not just like an object. The participants were more concerned with upholding the patient's dignity than their own. The inability to affirm dignity correlates with the studies such as Gallagher and Fowler reflecting on dignity as an or nurses' dignity as a neglected self-regarding nursing professional value. The participants reflected on multiple experiences of being proud as a professional nurse. They took pride in wearing their uniform, overcoming their clinical challenges, and opposing abusive behavior, turning their nursing science to account, transpired into ultimate moments of dignity and pride, leading to nursing being perceived as an effortless act. The participants wanted to uphold their profession in high esteem. However, they were aware of some of their colleagues that lacked professionalism and work ethics. They questioned the socializing of these students into the nursing profession during their training. The nursing profession cannot look the other way as if these individuals do not exist. Skilled and experienced nursing professionals have a professional duty to act as role models in portraying the attributes of being an excellent nurse. While nursing education remains the foundation for teaching the underlying principles of compassion, caring and professionalism. The participants held the well-being of their patients close at heart. They regretted this, the absence of small gestures of comfort for their patients due to a lack of time. They were not the nurses they wanted to be. They perceived their care as patientless and a tick list only. Being at the bedside 24-7, they were witnesses of compromised patient care. The lack of autonomy to successfully advocate for their patient's well-being was then detrimental to the participant's professional dignity. The participants reflected on the painful busyness and a fast work pace in private health care racing against time to get their work done, excessive paperwork and keeping the peace resulted in a misplaced focus on patient care, needing to take shortcuts and not being able to work according to nursing standards all the time impacted negatively on the participants' professional dignity. The participants described high demands from doctors, 
patients and their families in a money-conscious environment where the client is always right. A diverse work environment and uncommitted team members added to demands placed on the participants. Not all members of the nursing professional team were equally committed in um, rendering quality patient care. The participants would then rather do the work themselves, resulted in them being everything to everyone. They were tired, overworked, and emotionally drained. And you know your heart is to care, so it does. It questions your professional dignity. Because I mean to respect this doctor, I mean to be the patient's advocate. And then, who is there for me? Why am I here? What's my role here? Actually, I'm nursing a doctor, not a patient anymore. There is too much pressure to deliver, deliver. It's almost like an abattoir. So you're just doing. It has such a powerful effect on your total human being. I do not have words to do justice to this constituent. All of us are aware of nurses and even our own experiences of being humiliated by others in our workplace environment. I also don't want to talk about verbal abuse, the lack of autonomy, or not being valued as professional beings. Because again, I think that you know. What is of importance to take note of is how the participants were affected following exposure to humiliation. And it makes you feel actually worthless at the end of the day. So I felt really bad. I'm hopeless. I'm helpless. And I went home and I felt like I was a bruised woman, like I've been battered. I think the dignified moments have the best outcomes for patient care. The undignified moments, unfortunately, is either biased care on your patients or a lack of proper care or quality care for patients. It is evident that dignity for nurses matters. When nurses provide dignified care to their patients, they deserve to be treated with dignity too. Professional dignity should therefore be adopted as a non-negotiable nursing professional value. It should be affirmed in nursing codes of conduct, nursing curriculums, and healthcare policies. Strategies for preserving nurses' professional dignity should be embraced by healthcare providers, educators, and members of regulatory councils. Nurses should be respected, supported, and appreciated in healthcare environments. Their desire to hold the well being of their patients in the highest regard should be honored. Preserving nurses' professional dignity is a necessity in healthcare for each and every nurse. It is our Ubuntu put into action at its best. If we don't lovingly embrace our own dignity, it is harder to do it for others. We're not only valuable and worthy, we are invaluable. We are priceless and we are irreplaceable. Thank you. Thank you, Yvonne. Are there any questions? This one. Maybe Jane? Dr. Bono. Thank you, uh, Dr. Kornbrink, for uh, yeah, 
it's, it's really uh, an impressive study that you've done and you've uh, really presented your findings with such compassion and love. We can see that you are passionate about this. I don't have a question, but I have a comment. I appreciate so much what you've done. Besides presenting here to an academic community and a community to, of nurses, this needs to be communicated to the community of South Africa. It <laughs> must have some impact to the population. So often we hear negative news about nurses. And this is coming from a nurse's point of view. We, we do so many studies about patients and what patients experience and what patients need. This is what nurses need. Um, and I think you need to explore how can this information be communicated to the broader community so that there is impact and that they also hear our voices. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, then we are now ready for Dr. Kekono, Dr. Maipo. And she will present to us the bags of hope intervention. <laughs> 